Okay, folks, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and get started now. Um, when you ask your questions, you can go up. If you look at the, somewhere on your screen, you should see like a, uh, a cloud or a question mark or something like that at the top. And uh, you can type uh, your questions there. We won't answer those questions until the end of the webinar. So why don't you write them down first and then uh, later type them in so we don't miss them. Uh, let me tell you what we're going to do here. Let me tell you who will be the host. Uh, the host of this will be, again, Doug Chapman, President and Partner of National Group Marketing, and uh, Rick Thornton, Business Development for Insurance for Dallas. And uh, this is uh, what we're going to be covering on this webinar. After the sale, how to manage clients' expectations and make sure you get paid. Folks, if you're not getting paid within like seven days after you write up a policy, then you know there's a problem. So. You need to be in your, back, in, the, in your back office. We'll go through that in just a little bit. Leads. I know people are constantly calling me up about leads, and, and what I'm doing constantly is coming up with new ideas outside of the box to get everybody leads, not just myself. And a lot of this stuff takes a lot of time. I know I've been telling you about my Facebook leads now for a while. Still working on it is really, really difficult, but once you figure it out, you'll, it works like it works very well, I'm telling you. But just give me some more time on that. I apologize. I've been working all summer on it. Uh, <clears throat> how to complete a quotation using the new system. So we're going to go a little bit into the back office also, and Tan is going to show you how to do a quote. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get in and, and look to see what your clients, if they've actually taken the interview that they're supposed to take after they have signed up. Yeah. Preventative and emergency riders, we've got those new riders, and we'll make sure you guys understand that. And short-term wrap to the HSP3. So a lot of people are asking about that, how is, how is it going to work? And then your questions. So those are the things we're going to be covering today. And um, I'm going to go over just a little bit because there have been a couple of changes as far as commissions are concerned in your favor, by the way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you once again, this is a person in Texas with a, a husband and wife, 58 and 56, non-smokers. Some of you have seen most of this before, but not all of it. The uh, PAL premium is $776.08. The Blue Cross Blue Shield premium is $1,345. Uh, with the PAL, you have a PPO plan. Blue Cross Blue Shield, of course, is an HMO plan. Your, the deductible with PAL is $2,500 $2, deductible. This has changed. This is now $7,350, but I'll just keep it there at $6,850. We're making a point anyway. Uh, doctor's office visits with us will be about $60. Bucks. Credit towards the doctor. Uh, with Blue Cross Blue Shield, you have to find out which plan that is, but it's about $40. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you only get two visits. Uh, out of pocket uh, is non applicable for uh, for the uh, PAL plan for Blue Cross Blue Shield is about seventy one fifty. Commissions now this is the one I wanted to show you in your favor. Commissions have changed a little bit. Before we were only giving a uh, six month advance, but now we'll be giving a nine month advance for those who want it. So. If you're already getting six and you're satisfied with it, fine. I would just continue doing it. But if you need a nine, we can get you a nine. So this is showing you what the commission would be for a nine-month advance for a $776 premium. And then, of course, in the, uh, in the out years, um, excuse me, in the out months, 10 through 12, you'll be getting 235 a month for the, for the three months of the remaining period of that year. So th that's the difference. That's what I wanted to show you here on this slide. I know you, a, a lot of you have seen this slide quite a few times before, but there's a slight difference here, and that's with the commission. Um, I want to go over this because I, I have a lot of new agents asking me or bringing up the point about who should actually get this policy, and they do have clients who are getting subsidies. So just want to go over this right fast and highlight this. Here's some of your good candidates healthy individuals, people on COBRA, people who are self-employed, people who are between jobs, 
people who have out of control premiums, people in need of a PPO, and people in need of a lower deductible, which is very, all of these are very common issues. These are candidates, these are poor candidates for the, prob, for the uh, product. Women needing maternity, this does not have maternity, as all of you well know. People receiving a subsidy and cost sharing. People with systemic pre-existing pre conditions like uh, cancer or something like that. People on costly meds, that's not a big deal anymore because now we have an RX card. So I should have taken that out. But we do have an RX card that's pretty inexpensive. And uh, you can get quite a few generics on there. Uh, let's see, what's next? Uh, Karis, I'm going to let Doug talk a little bit about Karis here. Now, the Karis guys is a patient advocacy made up of, uh, it's a large organization out of Austin, Texas. It's been in the, the medical business for years, and it's a team of professionals that understand what a good value is and what the rates should be versus uh, overpricing. And they will jump in. It, it probably costs Philadelphia American at least half a million dollars just to put that into our pro program. It is a value-added benefit at no cost to the clients, right along with the Teladoc and the PPO network. Those three things, Keras, Teladoc, and the PPO, PHCS network, are all value-added products that are automatically in every policy we sell. And the reason we do that is, is a couple of reasons. Number one, this is a defined benefit plan. It pays a certain dollar amount. Now, there's nothing wrong with defined benefit plans that pay dollar amounts, especially if the dollar amount is enough to pay all the medical bills. And uh, people buy major medical out of fear of the large hospital bill, but only about 3% of the time will you actually need a major medical, and we'll talk about that when we've got that covered as well. But the, what the CARES does, if there's ever a balanced bill, if someone is goes to a hospital and gets retail charges or does not get the PPO discount because they were out of network or, or there's, let's say the bill was 20000 and it and not, we paid fifteen and they owed $5,000. Well, that's no different than having a major medical because you're always going to have an out-of-pocket with major medical. It's called deductible and coinsurance. But what Keras will do is they'll come in and negotiate that bill down They'll do three things. They will shop for surgical procedures. So anytime that anybody has a surgery over $2,500, they need to just call Keras. Keras will automatically contact the local hospitals and surgeon centers in your area, and they'll come up with five options for your clients, and they will drill each one of these surgery centers down and, and get the best wholesale prices, and they will get bundle rates so there are no surprises. I've used them. We've had most of our clients use them. It takes them through, puts them on a VIP list, and gives them their options. They will know exactly what the total bill will be for each surgery center they go to. And then, obviously, like I said before, if there's any balance bill, then they will negotiate those bills on behalf of the client. And these folks are attorneys. They're medical and professionals in the industry, and they average generally about 70% off uh, negotiated bills once they get involved in 24% of the people get involved with end up paying nothing of balanced bills. And then obviously they'll help you find a doctor or a provider in your area and they'll make sure that doctor is in network and has a high rating in the, in the medical community. And I'll just give you an example. I had to have an MRI and I came back from a ski injury and I called them up and they gave me 10 places. Then within the, by the next morning I had 10 places to get my mind, I had their best cash prices. I knew who was in network, and I selected one of them. They put me on a VIP list, set my appointment for me, told me what to bring, and made huge amounts of uh, difference in, in uh, actually made money instead of had to pay any out of pocket. So three things Keras does. They'll give you the best surgical procedures and the shop for your surgeries for you and negotiate any balance bills and make sure if you need a doctor or an x-ray or an MRI, they'll make sure you know exactly what the prices will be wherever you go. The key to our program is educating the consumer to shop just like they do everything else in their lives, something people have never done in the healthcare industry. Until we teach, build a, develop a super consumer, in other words, an intelligent consumer that can't be taken advantage of from doctors and hospitals, and until we get to doctors and hospitals where they don't, where they have to actually compete for our consumers' business, 
If we don't do those two things, we'll never get the health care costs under control in this country. And this is what we're doing here. This is why our product is so valuable. Uh, so again, the healthcare navigator, the surgery saver, and the bill negotiator. To keep it simple, anytime I have a client call me that needs to get an x-ray or an MRI or a lab, the first thing I tell them to do is call Keras, and then they get the best value in the market. All right, let's see. The next slide here, Pram. I'm going to let, I'm going to let Doug talk okay. about Pram, too. Go ahead. Yeah, the Pram guys, I, uh, one of the things about me, I've been in the business going on 35 years now, and I'm not going to sell anything that I wouldn't have myself. And so I, we looked at this Pram product. It is a standalone product that we add to the Philadelphia American product. I, most of the people know me that have, know I have the Philadelphia American product. I have all these benefits. had them for years. But I took on the Pram. We reviewed it for three months. I took it on myself. It is the best prescription drug product in the country. It is a true, fully insured drug card that takes pre-existing conditions. And as you can see here with the generics, you've got a $10 copay for generic. And on the brand rep 2, which is the plan that I have, you've got a $35 copay for the brand, uh, brand rep 2s for brand names. Well, keep in mind with your Philadelphia American product, your prescription drug benefit is a reimbursement. And depending on which plan you have is going to reimburse you, you know, 10 to $15 for generics and anywhere from 20 to $40 for brand names. And there's no copay, no deductible. So if you have this on top of your Philadelphia American product, you actually don't even have a copay. The, the reimbursement from your PAL product will actually cover your copay for the, for the, uh, the prescription drug card. So it's very inexpensive and, uh, again, takes pre-existing conditions up to $800 a family. I believe it's $400 an individual. So if we have and when we have someone that uh, has a prescription drug card, even though the Philadelphia American product has a 12-month pre-ex, they still get their repricing if they go to the doctor or hospital, which is, as we know, 40 to 60% discount, but we wouldn't pay the claim, but most of our pre-existing condition issues are actually drug-related. Doug, can so. you explain a little bit about it? If, uh Guarantee issue in using this card if you've got one person in the family who say yeah, has we, chronic disease. Yeah, if you have a uh, uninsurable person that would not ordinarily get the filled up record product, it would be a decline because it is fully underwritten product. You can get the guy one unit with a 90% rate up if you've got a someone with insulin dependent diabetes or 400 pounds or both. You can write them the one unit plan as long as anybody else in the family. Gets an, uh, is covered somewhere else, whether it's two units or three units or on the policy. So a lot of we used to lose sales because out of the family, one person was declined. We lose no family. Not the case anymore. Nobody get, gets declined if one person on the family uh, gets one unit. And you can load the, the person up with the prescription drug card, exactly. which will pay for their drugs day one. So we'll get into more of that. We have a PowerPoint we'll be sending you out on the Pram product, but it's an unbelievable product. It saves me hundreds of dollars a month, guys, uh, the, the Pram drug card, and I have pre-existing conditions, so excellent product there. Do uh, you want to talk about after the sale? Yeah, I'll talk a little bit okay. about after the sale. Um, what, what I've been doing, I've been looking in my back office at some agents, and uh, what I have noticed is... Uh, some agents, their clients have not taken the e-verification or they have not taken the uh, interview. Remember, um, they, everyone must get the e must do the e email e-verification, and usually they're going to have to take an interview. The interview usually comes up like three, two to three days after they have actually signed up. So, folks, you really need to look in your back office to see where you are, to see where your client is. If you have not gotten paid in, in by the next pay period, which uh, say you write someone up on uh, Tuesday, you probably won't get paid by Thursday, but you should be paid by the, the following Tuesday. So if you have not gotten paid, then there's a problem. But I would still check your back office within two to three days right after you have uh, written someone up. Now, I've got a video called After the Sale, and that video should really help you uh, understand how to manage your client. 
you should also give that video to your client and make sure that you manage your client's expectations. Um, again, make sure your clients are aware of the phone inter interview conducted after they have completed the e-verification and uh, check your back office often after a sale to make sure clients have met the requirements above. I can't emphasize that enough because a lot of agents will call me up and say, Rick, I haven't gotten paid. I look in their back office and, and the, the policy is still pending because the client did not recognize the phone number for the phone interview and did not pick up the phone. So just, just to iterate that. Um, leads, I know you guys want to hear about this. Okay. Facebook leads. Um, have clients put your information on their Facebook page recommending you. If you've got a client that has about 300 Facebook followers and you are on their Facebook page and they're looking for someone, especially around open enrollment for health insurance, boom, there you are right there. And you've got plenty of leads right there. A lot of people will call. So think about it. If you give this to three or four clients and each client has 300 friends, that's going to be, what, 900 people that get to see you. You have an audience of 900. So that's something I would use. I actually have an app that will do that for me, and I'm trying to get it for every... This is part of my whole Facebook. i got about three strategies going on right now with Facebook. But this is part of one of the strategies that I have is to get that app for everybody. I've already got the app on my phone, and the only thing I have to do is send out a text message and asking how did I do, and it's automatically posted on their Facebook page. So I'm going to try to get that for everybody. I've been working on that for a while. Uh, property and casualty agents. Property and casualty agents, they hate health insurance. You want to talk a little bit about that, Doug? Yeah, guys. Uh, one of our best uh, referral uh, referral cases, by the way, is your property and casualty agents. Uh, they've got a huge book of clients. They can't keep up with health care. Uh, as you guys know, they're big with property and casualty, life insurance, and home, home insurance, and so forth. But they get calls every day, people wanting, uh, can you help me with your health insurance? And all you have to do is go into their organizations, either contract them, do a split deal on every app, or work out some kind of referral fee with them, show them how much money you can save your clients. And uh, once they understand that you're going to service them, and you're going to give them quality benefits, they will open their whole book of business to you. And you're going to make them some money as well. So a lot of our guys actually get, they end up offering them offices in, the, in their, their facilities. So huge source of, uh, of referrals for the health insurance industry. I, I, I get referrals from property and casualty agents all the time. I, I say I do about 20% of my referrals are coming from property and casualty agents. So it is a great lead source. Um, I'm going to comment on a couple other things I forgot to put in this presentation. Chamber of Commerce, you guys, a lot of you guys may want to join your local Chamber of Commerce and, and start going to some of those meetings to be visible. And uh, B&I, which is not in here, B&I is a great source for, for folks to join if you're just getting into the industry or you need more leads. That's an organization that will give you referrals on a weekly basis. So those are two things I do not have in this leads program, and I forgot to put them in, but I did say I was going to mention those two things. Um, referrals. Uh, back in the old days, when I first got started right around 1986, I always asked for six referrals from clients. And back in the day when clients told me that uh, they couldn't think of six people, what I would do is I'll tell them to go get their Rolodex and let me put my name in their Rolodex. So I'm writing my name into that Rolodex, and then I said, oh, wait a minute. You've got more than six people here in your Rolodex. Let me see what you got. And then I'll get my referrals that way. So same thing here, folks. If they say they cannot find six people, remember, everybody's got to have at least six people because when you're dead, you've got to have six people to carry a coffin. So, uh, so put your name in their phone contact. And as you're putting your name in their phone contacts, they will always have six friends in their phone. And you say, oh, this looks like a pretty good referral, and get those six names that way. Um, let's see, what else? Paid leads. You guys may want to write this down. I think we're getting a, a small discount on this. This is uh, prospectamerica.net, and uh, they have a phone script, and I think the leads are right around $18 a lead, something like that. And... Uh, 
So with that, uh, I've heard quite a bit. I know some people in the Leaders Conference in Ireland this year, quite a few agents were using Prospect American, and they, they really had good success with them. One of the things that, are, that makes it nice with a product like this that is a cash cow, you saw the, the huge advances you'll be getting when you sell one of these policies. Uh, that cash cow allows you to have plenty of money, cash flow to spend on leads, whatever your system is you want to put in place. But I promise you guys, we're, we average anywhere between $5,000 and $15,000 a year in savings for a traditional family. And you're going to have all the referrals you're going to get when you're saving folks that kind of money. Talk, talk a little bit about the bonus program. Yeah, the bonus program, uh, the world trips, I think we're up to about a hundred. Well, bonus leads program. Well, we have a bonus leads program where based on your volume at the end of every month, Philadelphia American will total up your your uh, volume and based on your premium amount, I don't know what the number is, they will direct deposit a, a bonus in your account every month and that is for leads. And I don't like I, I know not this past no. summer. I've been a little slow because I've been working on so many other things. But the summer before last, I know I got a bonus money total of about twenty five hundred dollars, and that was to buy new leads. I didn't use it to buy leads, but you can use it for anything you want. So that was just bonuses that I received uh, the summer before last. And then of course you have your bonus, your cash bonus programs all the time. It's either summer bonus, winter bonus. Or, or, exactly, you know, exactly. And we've got trips lined up now. Uh, we've got the trip to... Uh, we've got a cruise coming up, and then we've got the Europe trip to Rome, Venice, and Rome. Yeah, yeah, and Europe. I think I think the uh, the uh, Caribbean trip, I think that's, that's $120,000 in premium by November 31st, folks. So if you can hit that by November 31st, you automatically go on the trip, automatically. And it's very first class. Then I think it's three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in premium by May thirty first, and you'll be eligible to go to uh, Venice, Venice, Rome. Italy. Yeah. yeah. So um, his last is the smart guy, and I'll be honest with you, I met this gentleman by mistake last night, and I'm going to put him on the call. So he's waiting to come on, and I'm going to give him the uh, I'm going to give him the calm. And I'm going to let him talk a little bit about the smart guys. Very inexpensive, and it's like B and I on steroids. And I think most of you guys are going to like this. I actually joined for four different cities last night, and I just met him last night. We we talked on the phone last night for about an hour and a half. So let me see if I can't bring him in. And uh, let's see, share yeah, control. Are you there, Georgia? I'm here, Rick. Okay, I think I've just given you control of the computer, and uh, I'm going to, hopefully this will work. Yeah, we should all be it's set. Working. They should see my screen. Yeah, I think every, I can see your screen, so I'm sure everyone else can. All right, so real quick, yes, uh, timing is everything, and as you'll see here, you're going to hear a lot about SmartEye, like you heard about Amazon and Uber as they came out. Uh, SmartEye is already the fastest growing business network in the world. In no time, we're already in 8,600 cities in the world, and every day we get hundreds of businesses that join us. As you can see right now, there's 194 so far today, and out here it's only 1130 in the morning. Let me tell you what we do, and let me show you why this is such a massive opportunity for you. And by the way, you can secure your spot in here as the only professional in, for example, healthcare for free. So don't think there's anything that's going to charge you or cost you. Let me explain. What Smart Guy does is we go into every city and we connect the top 1,500 businesses together, one per category, in an exclusive business referral network. One plumber, one electrician, uh, one bankruptcy attorney, one painter, one health insurance professional. We connect them together, and then we market them directly to the consumer. So you can imagine, as a health insurance professional, for example, if I were to connect you to up to 1,500 businesses in your city, and you're the only one in your category, and everybody refers each other automatically, it'd be a pretty sweet deal. Let me show you how it works. So once you join, these are the things we do. First of all, we create a free editable web page. Second of all, we put you in our city network, and we do all this automatically. Number three, we put you in our consumer direct marketing piece. So let's take, for example, any city. I'm a consumer or a business professional. 
and I'm looking for professionals in Houston. So you can see the power of this. So I type in Houston, and immediately it shows me in the Houston map for SmartEye, we currently have, this is the map of all the businesses that have already asked to come in. And you can see here by categories. We got attorneys, we got Ford is already calling. All these dealerships, uh, it's by category, right? 23 have been verified. But here's the amazing thing. You know how many businesses are waiting to get in? 1,394. Now, with each professional, oh, look at this one that just came in last night. What is this? Insurance Health? Let me open this one up. Let's take a look here. Uh, this is the free editable web page that you can get. As you can see, you might know who this person is. This is Rick's page here for Houston. Okay? And as you can see right in here, this is his page. It's fully editable. And he hasn't even seen it yet because we put it in late last night. But it's all editable by him. You have your information about your company. You have your image. This can be a YouTube video if you've got one. Your map, links to not only your website, but also any of your social networks. And this is the key. You're automatically connected to the other businesses. So when consumers are looking for a professional, they immediately go to SmartGuy. And not only do they find the category of the professional they want, but they see all the others. I'll show you one more thing. So as you see, consumers love it because they can find the quality professional. We only accept the best professionals. Businesses love it because we automatically connect them together. But also, we take all this data and we market it. Here, let's show you a different one. Directly to consumers. So I'm in Beverly Hills myself, so I'll, I'm just going to select my network because I started mine before this other one started. I started mine a few months ago. So I already have, as you see right here, over 211 businesses that are in my network. And they're all referring each other. And again, it's one per category, but watch this. You see here where it says for a printable list of all member businesses, click here. When you click here, this is the consumer direct marketing piece we send. As you see, see if I can zoom in. No, it doesn't zoom in much. It's one per category. This is what we send the consumers. So you guys, for example, would have the opportunity under health insurance to secure your spot as the only one. Uh, without going into too much detail, uh, that's pretty much it. Everything is automated. Uh, as I said, you can even go in for free. You can just go to SmartEye, go to the home page. You can click right here where it says uh, uh, join us right over here. Or what I did with Rick to make it even easier for you guys is if you want, you can either email Rick uh, or you can email me, whichever uh, Rick wants. And what we'll do is we'll call you on the phone, and in two minutes, we'll ask you the questions we need to create your page. We'll set everything up. Again, you haven't paid anything. We'll put you in the network, in the city that you want to be in, in the category that you want to be in, and you'll be in the consumer direct marketing piece. Now, you might be saying, well, I don't understand how this business is growing so fast. I understand it's free, but what's the catch? Well, there isn't really a catch other than this. When we put you in, and we'll make you the only professional, and you'll see it grow and grow and grow, if you want to secure your spot and block out competitors, you would upgrade, but it's only $69 for the whole year. So that's what, $5 a month to be the only health insurance professional in a network of 1,500 referring businesses and being marketed? That's why Rick took four cities. But you don't have to. You can stay for free. We're okay with that and just hope that you don't get, you know, knocked out. You can do it for free. My point is, it's up to you. Email either Rick or uh, – Rick, do you want me to give them yeah, my um, email so they can – Yeah, why don't, Jordan, why don't you give them your information and have them email you directly? Okay, you can email me directly at jordan at smartguy.com, J-O-R-D-A-N at smartguy.com. And all I need is your name, your phone number, and the city that you want to be in, we will then call you back. We'll ask you six or seven questions to help us develop the page. We'll do all the work, and we'll show it to you. And then you can decide later if you want to upgrade or not. But I think at the end of the day, you're going to quickly realize, if you don't already know, that referrals are the highest quality lead you can get, better than buying or anything else, and they keep on giving. And that's the power of it. So. Uh, I can certainly talk forever, but I think you have a good understanding of what Smart Guy is. And, yeah, it's a heck of an opportunity. Rick's my spiritual brother. We talk for hours because he's a giver like <laughs> I am. He wants to help as many people. 
Uh, and so uh, I'm happy to help you guys in whatever way we can. Yeah, it, it was an accident how we got on the phone last night, and I'd never met him before, and some someone else from his office had called me earlier that day, and we ended up talking for, first of all, about half an hour, and then we talked on the phone again late for about an hour, and coincidentally, I was happened to be on the lead page, and I just told him, I said, Jordan, why don't I put you on our lead page here, and at the same time, I want four cities. So I do a lot of experimentation with leads and, and how to get new referrals and this sort of thing. So guys, you may want to duplicate me and start trying new things and see what works. I'll be honest with you, 80% of everything I try does not work. So I don't, don't expect everything to work, but I'm just saying you need to try new things and, and get your feet wet. Okay, we're going to go on. Thank, thank you so much, Jordan. And um, I'm going to move on to the next slide. And be sure to contact Jordan. You've got his information. And uh, be sure to contact him. And at the end of this, we'll be – are you going to stay for the end, Jordan, in case someone has some questions? Sure, sure. I'll stay for the end. Okay. We should be finishing up soon. But what we're going to – I'm going to take this control back from you. Uh, reclaim control. Okay. All righty. I think I'm back in control now. All right, so I'm going to go on to the next slide. And the next slide, how to complete a quotation. I will send a video. I'm going to send you this video uh, as an email. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to let Tan come on. And Tan is going to go through here, show you how to do a quick quote, show you how to get in your back office, and show you how to check to see if your clients have actually completed a phone interview. That is so important. You guys won't get paid unless you understand how this thing works. Remember, you're going to get paid uh, every Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday. And you can know before. I can, I can check to see how much money I'm going to get on Sunday. I check on Saturday or Sunday to see what exactly is going to be in my paycheck on Tuesday. And you can check that again on Wednesday at 4, I think. So I'm going to hand over the mouse to uh, Tan, and I'm going to let her. Hi, guys. How's everyone doing today? I think you guys are muted, so I'm going to assume everybody's doing well. What I'm doing right now, I'm going to go ahead and simply log on to um, the agent portal. You all should be familiar with this now. If not, I'm always here to walk you through. Bear with me, the computer's doing a little thinking here. Okay, guys, so we are at the home page on uh, neweralife.com to access our agent portal. We would go ahead and click here. And sorry, guys, this gets a little slow when we're doing it in presentation mode. It slows the system down. And I'm going to go ahead and actually log in under my own number. So bear with me just a second. Okay. So when you actually get onto your agent portal, the first thing you'll see is your dashboard. So it'll tell you how many policies that you have active, um, if they're past due, if you have any pending rejections um, in the past 14 days, canceled policies. So right here, pretty much you have access to everything you need. What I want to show you first is commissions. Your commissions will always be housed here and is updated twice a week. 
any contest that's going on, any promotions, get yourself familiarized. That's housed there as well. Um, so we have information on the Leaders Conference, Winter Escape, Break the Bank, all the information you need in regards to those contests that Rick had mentioned to you earlier. So agent resources, this is very important. So we want to go here and look at policies, um, that we have pending in our policy list. So the policy list would uh, hold and house all the cases that you wrote previously. So if I want to search any of these 127 people, I could do so and search policy list and I could search by their name. All right. And then um, there are pending applications that's housed here. And right now, I don't have any examples to show you guys because I haven't been actively writing. But if this was your view, you would be able to see your cases from here and actually see the status. Actually, I'm going to go to hierarchy pending applications. OK, so if I did recently write something, I could simply click on my name. And it would show the policies, and it would show the policy status. So um, if you guys begin to hire agents, you'll be able to see what they've written as well. I work with Shelly. And for example, you can see her policy that she recently wrote and their status. So for status information and history, it would all be housed here. Please learn to get familiar with this because this is status and you can update your clients on what's going on. If something's pending and holding your case up, you can see the reason um, that the app is pending and you can reach out to your client to kind of rush through that process and let them know what requirements are outstanding. All right, so another thing I want to quickly show you, where your forms are housed. So you have your agent forms. So for example, if you're needing to update um, your advance, I know Rick mentioned advance agreements and so forth earlier, direct deposit. So forms that you guys would need, you could find them here. List bill forms, if you're writing small groups, they're also available to you, as well as sales forms. So we can always access their applications, underwriting guide, and so forth for every state via sales form. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the online applications. So one thing I want to show you, um, you can always go ahead and start a quote and save all your clients' information when starting that quote, or you have an option to run a quick quote where you're not trying to key in a lot of information, just the demographics, and get numbers. But we're going to go ahead and run um, an actual quote where we are going to save those demographics so you can see what it looks like. And again, because we are in presentation mode, it's going to run a little slower than it normally does, so my apologies. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to leads and quotes. All right, and we want to go ahead and add. Pam, which browser works best for this? Because I know you're using Internet The best browser per the carrier would be Chrome. So if you guys are having issues in any browser, you want to go ahead and try um, Google Chrome. It's going to work a bit better per the carrier. Just to let you know, she's an Internet Explorer right now. Okay, and I don't smoke, so I'm going to go ahead and correct that. So email addresses, is important that you go ahead and capture the email addresses because you can always send a quote via this system or when you're ready to send the actual um, 
The actual application to the carrier, they definitely need that email address, so e-verifications can go out to your client. But I'm going to bypass all of um, this just because we're just trying to save a little time. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and save the quote. It's going to ask me to verify the county. I'm going to submit it. Okay, so our most popular product is still going to be that HealthSaver Plus. I'll go ahead and generate a quote for HealthSaver Plus. Off to the left-hand side, you'll see my options. We're going to go with um, calendar year max first, $250,000 most popular option. Then I'm going to go with the $2,500 deductible, and I'll take the two units. As you'll see, um, you now have options for riders. So let's go ahead and click on those riders. And this again, of course, we know riders are optional. If you ever run into a situation where you need details about the benefits, the brochure is always here as well as the outline of coverage. So you can always refer back to it. In order to um, go ahead and choose this quote, I'm gonna check this box here and it brings the quote to plan premium. As you guys know, when we sell our policies, we always package it as a health and income protection type program. So we wanna always add that critical illness in there. And I'm gonna give myself the max on the critical illness. We're gonna check that box again. And then we also wanna go ahead and provide accident coverage on this policy. It's always better to do two units because it's only a few dollars different. So instead of that one unit where you would only get $2,000, let us go with that two units and give our clients $4,000. All right, so that is our quote. So that's going to be our premium for all three policies, our application fee. And then from here, I'm going to hit continue. We can now go ahead and save and print this quote, and we can put it in a body of the email and send it out to our client. And that's what it would look like in the save form format. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and we go back to the dashboard. That quote is down there. And what we want to do now to go ahead and start that application, click on the name, and you simply hit Begin Enrollment. This now actually segues you into the application. Just for verification purposes, it does make you select those benefits again. However, if you notice the screen is different, you also have the option of choosing the effective date. This is a way that we don't send the incorrect um, or submit the incorrect quote. So this makes sure it kind of checks what we actually do. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through that same process and go ahead and select my benefits. And also I want to point out agent notes are now here. So anything you want to tell the underwriter, you do have that option to do so. You just go ahead and put your note there. So, for example, if I previously had a medical test done within the past few months, um, maybe I want to let them know that I don't have to have any further treatment and everything is completed just in case that something comes up in my record. And if you guys notice my health saver, I didn't uh, click select plan. You have to do that to make sure it shows up for you.
So now I just selected the plan and it shows up under the plan premium. All right, so now I am going to add my critical illness, my 50,000, and make sure I select it again. So now all of my plans have been selected and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click continue and now I'm in the actual application. So I'm moving forward, putting in that client's demographics and so forth, and just completing this application. And the very last step of the application, of course, is gonna go ahead and submit to the carrier. And within maybe 10 minutes after submission, you should be able to go back to your agent portal and that policy should show, well, the application should show as created. So you'll be able to see a policy number pretty much right away. And I'm going to go ahead and let Rick take it from here. And I will be available to answer any questions that you guys may have about the back office and um, the applications and quoting methods. Okay, let me get back in here. All right, so here's a video that I'm going to send out. Uh, Tan has already done a quick quote on this video, so uh, I'll send this out later. I'm also we're also recording this, so we'll be able to send this whole presentation uh, webinar out to everyone. Um, Preventative and urgent care riders. I'm going to let uh, Doug go through this, and, and Doug has a really good understanding of this. Well, we had asked uh, Build Up America, and this product is always evolving, guys, and it's, it's getting better and better. This is the fourth generation, and we went to Build Up America and asked them to increase the outpatient benefit a little bit. So as you can see here, and this is only, I believe, about 15 or 15 percent of your premium as an option, but if you have two units, which I believe pay $60 for the doctor visit, by just a few dollars more, by adding the increased benefit option rider, will increase your doctor visits. And keep in mind, guys, if you're, if you're going from $60 $80 for two units, which is the one we're talking about, we all know the doctor visit's $120, maybe $150, but the average repricing where we educate our consumers by staying in network is generally between 40 and 50 percent. So if you've got $150 on the high side doctor visit and it reprices down to $75, uh, and you've got a $60 two unit plan, you're out of pocket 15, you know, 20 bucks. And if you have the in rider, you're actually not out of pocket a dime. So, um, and if it's 150 repriced to 80 and you're getting 80, then you're still, your client's not out a, a penny. I, I think, I think each rider, the total cost, I think I calculated it at $14.50 yep. per person, each person okay. in the family. That's how much more you would add to your premium. Yep. Per rider. We would always, I would always recommend you adding the increased benefit rider. It's very inexpensive and will beef up your outpatient doctor visits. As you can see, labs are beefed up because this stacks on top of their defined benefit plan that they've got initially purchased. And then the preventative care adds another $125 on mammograms, which takes it to $250. And then obviously puts in the additional colonoscopy benefits. And then the increased emergency outpatient rider, which, you know, nobody wants them to go in the emergency room unless it's an emergency. Um, people tend to use the emergency room as, as doctor visits, and that's that's not advised. And, but uh, that, that actually, with two units, that increases that to an eight hundred dollar benefit. Correct. So that's two hundred plus three hundred plus three hundred is eight hundred. Correct. So keep in mind, even with Blue Cross Blue Shield, I, I believe the. Uh, the uh, copay on a doctor's on a excuse me emergency room I think is nine hundred and fifty bucks. Right. So you know they're already going to be out nine hundred and fifty bucks with Blue Cross. With well, the one of the great things about our product, guys, is number is a two things. Number one, you're obviously putting probably fifty percent of their premiums back in their checking account in monthly savings, and then you're getting them out of their deductible and those huge copays and huge co-insurances. So when you eliminate your deductible. Uh, and plus put money back in their checking account every month, you've uh, great them a great value. Now, we've recently added an optional short-term wrap, and there's going to be a certain amount of clients uh, that we know of over the years, and agents too for that matter, 
that are just so stuck on the traditional major medical policies. Most people buy major medical out of fear. They, we all know someone we love that had huge medical bills, had cancer, heart attack, stroke, or some long-term bout with something, leukemia or something, and we heard about the huge medical bills they've had. Now, we can count them on one hand. We know thousands of people. The truth is 97% of folks under the age of 65, which is our market, their claims will be under $35,000. But there's 3% of claims where you would need a major medical. That's obviously the big three, the heart attacks, strokes, and cancers. And uh, so what we do is we have an option for those folks, the agent or the client that just buys major medical out of fear. Uh, so if you want a major medical, we can turn this into a major medical for you. We can simply add an eight, a short-term major medical rider on top of the HST, HSP plan. Well, keep in mind, you know, with a $25,000 deductible or a $50,000 deductible, you've got a very inexpensive premium, and this pays 100% of your medical bills after your deductible to your aggregate, whether it be a quarter million or a million. So let's say our top seller, which is the HSP2 units with a quarter million dollar aggregate, so if you come in here with a $25,000 or $50,000 deductible, a 100% plan, that takes you on up to another quarter million dollars or a million dollars, then what you've done there, you've done something very special for the client. You've got two policies that pay in, in, in addition to each other. One of the greatest things about our product is it pays in addition to any other insurance. You're never going to lose your HSP policy. It resets every year. So if you slap a uh, short-term rider, the problem with short terms is we know there's an end date on them. And after the first of the year, we expect to have at least a year on this policy before you have to renew it. That won't start until the first. Until the first, correct. First, yeah, January first. But anything, January. anything after October, you'll have a six-month guarantee on this policy. Uh, so if somebody is just, and you know the clients when you're in front of them, if they don't think that that defined benefit plan is going to be enough coverage for them, no problem. We'll give you a million dollars on top of it. And here's what happens: if you get sick and you're putting stress on your defined benefit plan, which is primarily first dollar benefits, and then you're going to have another million dollars of major medical at 100%. Now, then you've got two policies paying in addition to each other. And what I always tell a client is, you know, because another fact that you guys need to write down and educate your clients, the number one reason for home foreclosures and bankruptcies in America is medical bills. We all know that. The problem, people don't know that 78% of the folks that went broke due to medical bills had a major medical policy in, poor, in, in force. So we need to realize that if you have a major medical policy, you're still going to go broke if you're not working and don't have income coming in. Well, if you have our indemnity policy, which will pay in addition to your major medical policy, now you're getting double indemnity. So if you get that heart attack, stroke, or cancer, not only will you have your critical illness paying you, but you're also going to have your indemnity plan paying you. So you'll be, and I always tell people, if you really get sick, where you're going, to, you could lose your house and your home and your business. Would you rather have two policies or one? And obviously, uh, we all know the answer to that. So, for a very inexpensive amount, you can select this premium and throw another million dollars on top of that HSP, and then obviously you've got two policies there. And uh, Again, you may lose this defined benefit plan. HSP pays uh, pays be applied to the doctor. Well, that's a good point. Your 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 HSP. Keep in mind, I have I have a five thousand dollar deductible and have had for six years with the HSP. I have never paid my deductible because I've had all outpatient surgeries. And the only time you pay your HSP deductible is if you spend the night in the hospital, and then. You're, the way it works is unlike major medical, which you have to pay your deductible first before the major medical kicks in. With the defined benefit plan, you pay your deductible last. It, the way to, to understand it is it's just like a car insurance. If you've ever had a car wreck and, and State Farm sends a check to the body shop, they're going to remove back out your deductible from the check they're sending to the body shop. So that's the same way on your deductible. If I was hospitalized, my $5,000 deductible would simply be taken out of the check they're sending to the hospital. Well, if I'm in the hospital, I'm going to be in a PPO network, and my bill is going to be repriced by 40 50 maybe 
So I'm not even going to have to pay my deductible because I'm going to be getting overpayments. We'll get into that in train in, when we get into the product. But to answer your question, by the time your medical bills reach twenty-five or fifty thousand dollars in a calendar year, this short-term wrap would kick in and pay a hundred percent after that point. Well, if you've got a quarter million dollar indemnity plan, obviously you're not going to be out anything, and you'll be making money. And uh, I tell people, you know, that you could call it whatever you want. You can call it disability policy if you want, you know. But a disability policy is very expensive, only pays 60% of your income, and you have to be totally disabled to get it. But if I were to have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, or any serious illness, and this once you reach your deductible and your major med and it kicks in, you're in double indemnity mode, guys, from there on out. And uh, that's huge. Well, yeah, I think I think basically what he's saying is that this will pay it a hundred percent after uh, say fifty thousand. Yeah, yes. fifty thousand dollars. It starts paying at a hundred percent once your bills get up there. Correct. And then the HSP three will continue to pay. So exactly. you've got two policies paying. So if this is covering everything at a hundred percent over fifty thousand dollars, then the money that the HSP three would be paying actually goes to you. It's going in your pocket. So that goes into your pocket. So you've got a kind of a double thing going on there. Yeah. I mean, let's go to the to the next slide, and I think the next slide is questions. Yeah. So here here here's a chance for you guys to ask us questions, and let me bring up this little box here for questions, and and please please ask us whatever you need. And uh, let's see, what will the HSP pay be applied to? Will the HSP three pay be applied to the deductible if the STM wrap? Unless you want to go yeah. further than yeah. that. Yeah, we can just go here, guys. I'll go through this really quick. As we know, on a major medical policy, first, number one, 95% of all your medical bills are going to apply towards your large deductible. You're going to get some co-pays and some wellness and some Mickey Mouse stuff, but if you have MRIs, labs, surgeries, you're going to have to pay that large deductible. So 95% of your claims go towards a large deductible in coinsurance before you start to get a, getting a reimbursement on your investment. With the hospital indemnity plan, the deductible works very different. I have a $5,000 deductible. Only applies if I spend the night in the hospital. It's way for my outpatient surgeries. And if I spend the night in the hospital, they simply total up my daily benefits and remove my deductible from the check they're sending to the hospital. Here's an example. On a three-day hospital stay, my plan pays $6,000 a day for the room rate. Whatever the surgeon's fees is, assistance, etc. This guy had a this plan paid twenty four thousand dollars for this particular three day hospital stay. If you have a twenty five hundred dollar duck, they simply remove that from the check, and they'll send the difference to the hospital. Now, if the hospital charges are less than what the plan is paying, I will actually the hospital they'll send the hospital the repriced amount. If there's an overpayment, then I will get that overpayment. And by the way, every surgery I've ever had, I've received money. My shoulder surgery, I made about $10,000, $11,000. And I'll show you the claim if you need to. But now if the hospital does not reprice, or let's say the plan doesn't pay as much as the bill is, then you, your client will owe the difference, which, you know, similar to a major medical, you're always going to owe a difference called deductible and coinsurance. So... If I've got this policy, and I'm and and once uh, my deductible is backed out, as you can see here, when you go to the hospital, let's just talk about. Uh, we'll talk about my situation. I have the two hundred fifty thousand aggregate. This is a bucket of money that every member of the family has, and uh, on medical bills. And every time you have a medical expense, the but your ag comes out of your aggregate to pay your bills. And every January, I get a brand new bucket of money, every member of the family. And keep in mind, this pays in addition to any other insurance. So, uh, since I have two units, if I go to the hospital, my plan will pay me or the hospital, whoever files the claim, $3,000 a day for my room rate if I'm in there for sickness, and $6,000 a day if I'm in there for an accident. And, and now I stop right there and educate the consumer because nobody knows how much a hospital bill is and they need to know. You, again, you want to develop a super consumer, an intelligent consumer. 
Your average hospital room in Dallas Fort Worth is going to run between about fourteen hundred a day and about twenty eight eighty a day, I believe it is currently. The average repricing out here is about between forty. It's about forty seven percent, I believe. No, well, that's forty seven percent. That's for doctors. That was for, forty about forty percent. Thirty two percent for. Yeah, depending on where it's at, we can show you that deal. So if it's let's say it's twenty five hundred dollars a day and it's repriced by thirty percent. And that brings it down to what? Eighteen hundred a day, sixteen hundred a day? Yeah. Well I'm getting three thousand. So I'm getting an overpayment or six thousand. So they're gonna to total these benefits up and the you know, forty five hundred, six thousand for ICU, which is not stacked, but the, the mental and nervous stacks on top of the daily benefit. Skilled nursing, rate rate. They total these benefits up and we'll show you some claims here in a minute. But the outpatient surgeries, you can see where the majority of surgeries are done on outpatient, the deductible will be waived for your first outpatient surgery a year. And I've always had outpatient surgery, so I've never had to pay my deductible. $3,000 for the room rate, and then I'll, you get into your surgeon's fees. Do you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. well, I guess you, most of you guys have, a, have got quite a few videos yeah. on this, so you may want to consult those videos that I have. And what I like to try to stick to some questions that you know pertain to either leads or something that we've kind of talked talked about today. So I don't we don't need to give a presentation. Okay. We we've uh, we've got plenty of presentation videos, and I'm going to send out a video for the back office soon. So are there any other questions that people have? And if you do, just type them in the chat box there. Um, I can unmute everybody because maybe some people don't know how to type in the chat box. Let me unmute you for a second. To answer your question, what the HSP... Yes. Okay, everybody's unmuted now. So if you got a question, make sure your background is quiet. If you got a question, go ahead and ask it. Hello? Just say, go ahead and ask your question. Any questions, guys? Okay, I'm, I'm going to go back and mute this again then to keep this thing. Uh... Any question on leads, guys? I know that's usually the biggest thing people want to know because I've got uh, Jordan on the other line, and I want, want to make sure if you have any questions about his product and how it works, be sure you ask that question now so everyone can hear it. Or everyone can see it because I just I just put you on mute again. <laughs> I'm gonna un Okay. Any questions guys? Can the okay. can, be, can the STM be added to existing policy? I'm sorry, say it again, we didn't understand you. I'm sorry. This is Marilyn, Rick. And can the hey, STM, hi, can the STM, the short term or STW, the short term wrap, can it be added to existing policy? That's a good question. Yes, and as long as it's the state we're in, as long as the short term has been approved in that state, you can go back and add it to it, yes. Okay. Thank you. Good question. That is a good question. I didn't know the answer to that one myself. Now you cannot sell you cannot sell the short term wrap without an HSP or an HCS. It has to be added. It cannot be sold standalone. It has to be added to an HSP or an HCS. What would be the procedure if you were adding it on to an existing policy? Well, we'd have to you'd have to go uh that's a good question. I'll have to get an back to you on that. So we'll get the get the answer. This is brand new. It's been approved in a couple of states, and there's several more states it's been filed Here, in. Here's a good question. Here, it says, yeah. how it would you quote? In? Yes, it yes. is. How, how would you quote the uh, STM wrap on an existing policy? Excellent question. I have no idea. So that well, you can go to the software and quote it. It was just I, on there. I'm not sure if you can do it alone. It's standalone. Yeah. You may be able to. I don't. I don't know the answer to that, guys. This, yep. This is pretty new, and Can might be the answer to that. Hello? It's Tan. Can yes. I answer those questions? Yes. Yes, please. 
can separately quote the rap, but if you're wanting to write it, it has to be done via paper at this time. Okay, so there's the answer to the question. You you have to do it on a paper application, and you must include the uh, policy that you're no. putting it to on that at the top of the paper. The policy number that it's all, that you're adding it to. Correct. 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 Yes. Correct. Anybody else? Type or talk? Anything? Any questions about leads? I have questions about leads. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just relatively new in the business, and I need to get enough leads to where I can start feeling comfortable, you know, as far as making money and getting this product out there to the people. What's a good lead source? Tan, you want to answer that? Here, let me let me go back to this. Go ahead, Doug. Let me go back yeah, to Tan, the, the Tan, are you on? Tan handles uh, has two or three lead options, and she's more on top of it than I am, and she knows who seems to be the best at the time based on what area you're in. You can obviously get B leads or A leads. Most of our A leads are, are double qualified, and they're just for you. They're not shared leads. And I agree with you. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're going to make enough money if you're selling anything at all to have plenty of money to spend on leads. And a lot of agents don't invest in themselves. And, and but that, well, he, yeah. it's a chicken and egg situation yeah. that he's at right now. I, I understand exactly where you're coming from because I was here before. You may want to try these guys right here, Prospect America, and uh, we, we've got their uh, what do you call that thing? Uh, their script. We do have their phone script. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Would you say? Were you saying something? No, I'm. I'm all good with it. I'd, I'll try anything. Okay, and and I would definitely look at Smart Guy. What 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 city are you in? Where are you? I'm in Denton, Texas. Where? Denton. Denton. Okay. If you're in Denton, Texas, try out Smart Guy. And it's only sixty five dollars a year. Email. Pardon me? Yeah, Rick. Yeah, I already sent him the email. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think oh, already I, send an email. I, a couple people, Rick, already sent in the emails. You know, one thing I want them to understand is the highest quality lead that they're going to get is going to come from a referral. You guys have an amazing product. I've been watching this whole presentation. I mean, it's like you guys have the golden goose. All they got to do is let people know about it. And with Smart Guy, you have something that has such amazing value. There isn't a business that you guys don't know that wouldn't want to be connected to 1,500 referring businesses. So when you go to – we'll put you in for free, and once you're in for free, you're going to be connected and then tell other businesses that are in your city about it because the more businesses that join, the more businesses you're connected to, and you're the only health insurance professional in the entire network. You understand? When you buy a lead, it's a one-time benefit. When you establish a relationship with a referral partner, it's an ongoing stream of referrals that, quite frankly, are free. So if you're new, you have an amazing product with this insurance product. It's cheaper than the others. I'm looking at it. All you got to do is get the word out. Best way to get the word out is to connect with referring businesses. And Smart Guy's allowing you to do it for free. Now, and a lot of you have already emailed me, but those of you that got on afterwards on this call – Take advantage, and if you can afford the five or six bucks extra a month to block out your competitors and be the only health insurance guy in the entire network of 1,500 referring businesses, then do it. But that's about as easy as it gets. I mean, if you open up your phone book, you probably already know an electrician, an accountant, a plumber, a roofer, and when you tell them about Smart Guy, they're going to join too. And remember, as more and more businesses join, and add their business, they're sending all their people to Smart Guy, and you're the only health insurance guy. That's about as easy as it gets, Rick, huh? Yeah, and, and if you want, join, like I did, I joined four different cities. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it works, but I did join four different cities. As I told you before, I do invest in a lot of lead generation. I spend 80% of my time is spent on lead generation, and it's not spent on uh on uh, actually going out, you know, well, it's not spent on actually giving presentations or anything like that. If you generate leads, the presentations will come. That would be second nature. So 
Focus on leads, folks. Focus yep. on leads. And be creative with that. Be very creative. Um, are there any other questions? Oh, let me unmute you guys again because I muted everyone. Unmute. How can any we, other how questions? Can we, yes, I have one. How can we find out the average hospital daily benefit in our area? Or is, that, is there a way to find that out? There is. Uh, I think you can go to uh, health. What is it called? Uh, there is. I can't think of the name of it. We'll get that. That's a very good question. There is. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. And also, uh, well, yeah, there is. That's a good question. I just don't know the name of it. But we can get that for you. We're making notes here, guys. It's a good question. Health Care Blue Book, I think you may be able to find that. Hey, Marilyn, check out Health Care yes. Blue Book. Okay, but in the meantime, you'll check and see if there's another one that uh, another site as well. Okay. Right. Yeah, you're gonna have to join Healthcare Blue Book. Just changed some things around, so you may have to join that. We used to have a software program. You could type in any procedure, and any hospital in the United States would come up, and their charges would come up. Now we lost that software about a year and a half, two years ago. But we'll. Uh, there are some other avenues we can find those numbers for you. Well, you were using the Dallas area averages mm -hmm. for your stuff, um, mm -hmm. and I. So I just wondered, because I think that's an interesting point, because it is something I would ask if I was if I was the consumer. Okay, how do I? Absolutely, know? you need to. If we're going to educate the consumers, you know, uh, we need to we need to know have the numbers readily available for them, so we so we can show them what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. I think that's good. And yep. and then the the brochure that you were showing about the uh the the STW that brochure STM that had all of that short term ramp uh huh yes, uh huh that's in the that's back office Tan Tan just showed you how to go in the back office right I just I'm videotaping this so you can go in the back office that's where I got it from I got it from okay. back office this morning as a matter of fact okay I just wanted to be sure that's where it was. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, folks, we're going to conclude this webinar if there are no more questions. I'm sorry? Rick I, want to make a, Rick, I want to make a comment to you and Doug. I've listened to a lot of your presentations, and this one was very, very good. It was easy to catch on to what you were saying. I just want to thank you for it. Thank oh, you. Thanks. We appreciate it. We really appreciate that. Okay, guys, well, we're going to end this webinar, and uh, what I'm going to do is edit this a little bit, and I'll send this out to everyone who was invited to this uh, webinar. So there are a few people that didn't show up, but I'll be sending this out to everyone. And if you have any questions, just email me, and I will also have a separate video in there for your back office, so you'll be able to get in your back office with Jordan's information, too. So everybody, happy selling, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Guys. Thank you. Bye.